Okay, so I just built the ship. It is the DX-3 Revenant. Those who have subscribed to my workshop ships before might realize that I have another ship called the Revenant. It's down there. This is an updated version of this ship down here. It doesn't look anything similar, but there I have reasons for calling it an updated version, specifically how the internal layout is set up and kind of its relative size, how it was designed, and a whole bunch of things. So I'm going to start just going to go around the exterior. We're going to start with weapon complement. The ship has 10 artillery turrets here, two Gatling turrets, which are recessed into the holes with this cool rotor trick here that I really like using. And it has eight rail guns up here. So enough for it to actually be effective. If it didn't have as much space, I might have used artillery turrets because of their higher fire rate. The ship is propelled mostly by hydrogen thrusters, save for these two ion thrusters here. If, for some reason, the hydrogen goes out, you always have this backup thrust here, which is enough to say, stop you moving at 100 meters a second or something. On the bottom here, we have the one refinery and we have the jump drive. Uh, the jump drive is about as well protected as I could get it. I couldn't really find space inside without sacrificing one of the tanks. And two hydrogen tanks instead of one is much better. We've got another Gatling recessed here. <clears throat> and now that we're in the vicinity of this uh, refinery, I'm going to quickly talk about production. We've got one refinery with full modules, two yields, and two power efficiencies because it's nice to be power efficient sometimes. This ship had two refineries, but without any modules, and one assembler. I don't know how many modules it had. This ship only has one assembler, no modules. It has four main upwards thrusters, plus, I think, ten small upwards thrusters, which makes it very capable of spin to win and dodging combat. For sideways thrust, we've got the big ones there and these thrusters here. Its downward thrust isn't that much, and its forward thrust, while not as powerful as the upward thrust here, is enough. That's about the outside. I'm going to go inside now. So this is the inside of the ship. Uh, it's not that big of a room. It's kind of like the revenant that's down there, but it's a bit smaller. Up here in these crevices, we have the two uh, protected control seats. When you get in here, you've got a really nice view of all the railguns, so you can see how many of them are alive. And you also have the beds here for logging off. Aside from that, this is just an all-decorative interior. You can kind of see the batteries here, how much charge they've got, and you can look out at this thruster and that thruster there, and kind of these internals here. There's a gravity gen, heat vent cool LCD things. That's about it for the downstairs. Upstairs, we have the bridge. Bridge is minimalistic because glass takes up a lot of space. Unfortunately, it's going to be like that until we can put blocks inside other blocks. And finally, we've got this walkway out here with these artillery turrets. You can look at them. And you can walk out here onto the pad. Or you could park a miner or something. That's about it. Uh, the ship is going to be up on the workshop when I post this video. So, uh, yeah. Give, give me workshop clout, I guess. If you'd like to do that, that would be really cool. I hope everyone enjoys their day or night, depending on what time it is. Bye.